Hey folks, it's Friday. Hey folks, it's Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. So most of us are a little late on this. Also, we were late remembering to do this as well. So, hello. Looking over the past few years of the video updates that I've given, they've all been over four minutes. I'm going to try and squeeze everything I've done in the last year into less than that. Okay, part one. March. March I travelled to Norway, stayed in a cabin, chopped some wood, had a lot of fun and I also pooped outdoors. I came back to the UK, turned 23, went to go see the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra live and I fanned everywhere. It was an amazing experience and I really want to go again. Apparently it might be happening again this year so we'll find out. April I did VEDA or as I like to call it VEDA BOW. Vlog every day in April but only weekly. I went to go see Rent and then cried over seeing Rent because Rent is great. Also I started to deal with a lot of mental health stuff that I've been dealing with. I, I noticed that there was a problem and then I decided to put stuff in action to try and deal with those problems. Very grateful for the NHS and the free healthcare that we have here. In May I started speaking to a counsellor but they kind of take me off the system due to like a whole bunch of issues because uh, they believed that I could self-manage that and then proceeded to have a bunch of months where I couldn't manage it. But the good news in May was that I got a new job. I said that I wanted to put plans in place to move out and that came through with the brand new job which I had to move out for. Uh, I started trying to move in with these people but they were all on different dates and uh, ultimately they did kind of let me down and kind of messed me around a bit. I ended up getting a flat by myself and lived there for quite a while. It was out by quite a while, I mean six months. <laughs> yeah, so I got a new job working as a marketing executive and video editor. Uh, I put in my two weeks notice in Ganesha, which I really loved and still talk to them and still go out with drinks. First June, uh, I started my new job, stepped on a knitting needle, don't worry, my foot is fine, it healed. It was very painful though. Uh, and in July, I got a new home. Uh, it was new home, new me, new hacker. I ended up going back to the short puff. I also started the Cup RJ podcast. If you like any kind of talk show, kind of fun, just stuff, maybe while you're driving to work or getting the train to work or the, the tube or the sub subway. If you just want a bit of fun, you can listen to that. Uh, what else? I also tried to start a clothing company, uh, but life got in the way and so did expenses and finances and time. So I decided mm, I won't do that for now, but it is hopefully happening. August I go see Hairspray, there's a lot of musicals and orchestras that happen during this year, I even go to musical nights. I take ownership of my work and knuckle down for a bit, in September I go see Dick Valentine play and I go to Digital Fest, which is like a tech event to meet potential clients for work. Uh, me and Alex start the I Don't Know History podcast, if you like history and like learning about it, we also talk about how America was actually found, um, and a lot of that kind of thing. If you, it, it's an hour long podcast. Uh, it's, I, I don't know anything about history, but my friend Alex teaches me about it and it's a lot of fun. Also in September, I go to Norway again. This time it was Oslo. I break into a university uh, common room whilst I was there. Drink a lot, don't miss my flight for once. If you haven't seen my actual Oslo, my Norway videos, go watch them, I'm actually really proud of them. October, traveling again, I go to Paris, Disneyland Paris for Magical Pride, which is an LGBT event where the park is actually to ourselves for for the week, well, the night, but it's on the whole weekend. Uh, I rode Tower of Terror multiple times and Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster twice in five minutes and I'm pretty sure I nearly died. Genuinely, I think I nearly died. Then as per usual, I go to London Comic Con. After all that, I travel a lot in 2017. I'm very proud of it. Um, and then, it's, yeah, um... November, not much really happens, uh, it's my dad's birthday and once again I kind of knuckle down for work. December we made a bunch of songs uh, for Just Like Us which is the charity that we, we, we've done every uh, for the past two years now and I shaved my hair off, um, for well I pitched to shave my hair off, I don't do that until January but yeah that is essentially uh, nearly the year done. Uh, January I realised I can't imagine myself being at my job for 10 years, let alone until 2019. Uh, I start applying for new jobs, me and my friend Tom start Podmage, which is a podcast production company. Uh, we have three podcasts right now and we have another three planned for the remainder of the year. Uh, February I hand in my resignation, then proceed to extend it as the marketing team is kind of swapped at the minute and I kind of like a bit more money. <sighs> and that takes us to here. Um, where am I going? Uh, I'm going into f more freelance directions now. I have a client lined up um, and along with working for my old boss, uh, which I'm looking forward to. It means I have more time. It means I take more responsibility for my work and ownership. Uh, the clothing company I can focus on, the podcasting stuff I can focus on, and I want to work for myself a lot. March itself, uh, I'm turning 24 this year. 
Uh, I'm going to Hamilton in London uh, in uh, March 28th, just a few days after my birthday, followed by a trip to Southampton with the Comic Con boys. Uh, and I'm very excited because we get to catch up. Life gets busy. Uh, I didn't do as much as I wanted last year, but I'm very proud that I did. I still did what I did. I did a lot, but it w just wasn't constantly the stuff that I wanted to do. Currently, by the way, it is snowing. I have left this out, but this is currently the outside world. It hasn't snowed in South Wales since 2013. I'm gonna go get dressed and play in the snow. My name is RJ, I love you, and Emily, I'll see you tomorrow.